took the weekend off to spend some time with my family, and this is the news I woke up to. Prince Harry willing to take on a royal role following King Charles' cancer diagnosis. Oh, I bet you are, Prince Harry. But I'm going to echo Pierce Morgan's response here. F off indeed. Welcome to Popcorn Planet Palace. Sorry, I forgot. Brian Palace, cheers to all my royal kings, queens, princes, and princesses, and all you. Look, I know I'm a little late on this because this dropped, I guess, Friday afternoon. Uh, but now there's been some reaction since. We're going to recap it all for you because this is ridiculous. Of course he is. Ah, oh, I'm willing to take over a, a royal role to help with my father. Of course. This comes in. As Pierce uh, said F off from the Times, the Sunday Times, I saw the royal rogue here also jumping on it. Here's from the Times. The meeting last week with his father at Clarence House, at which the Queen was also present, did not provide time for a detailed discussion, but it is understood that Harry has made an offer to make a limited return to royal duties. It's like Jon Stewart coming back to The Daily Show. I'll come back, but only on Mondays. <laughs> A written plan would have to be drawn up and, and actioned by the king and his closest aides before Harry and Meghan could embark on any official duties on behalf of the monarch. Harry would not receive public funds. Uh, look, before we all get worried about this, the king has apparently made it clear that he's firmly of the opinion that no, Prince Harry cannot return as a working royal. But that hasn't stopped the press from being all over the place and that smug ginger smile being all over saying, well, look, I'm happy to try and help. Oh, look at everyone not letting me. I'm just trying to be a good son now and step up and help my cancer-stricken father with some royal duties. Hmm. Uh, I'm not buying this for a second. But of course, it's all over the trades now. This is all a PR play and this is all because I believe they're desperate to cling on to something. But yes, this is where it's coming in. That through the times of London, Harry has told friends he would be happy to step into a royal role while his father undergoes medical treatment. The royal family's public figure roll call has been depleted in recent weeks with the king withdrawing from public duties and Kate Middleton, the Princess of Wales, continuing to recover privately after abdominal surgery. Family members who have stepped up to cover some of the monarch's duties include the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh and the king's sister, Princess Anne. Prince William, who is estranged from his brother Harry, has also returned to public duties uh, following his wife's surgery. Despite his residency in the U.S., Harry remains fifth in line to the throne and a counselor of state. He met the king for 30 minutes, having flown from California to meet him. Harry referred to their meeting during his, we played that for you at the Invictus Games. I love my family. The fact that I was able to get on a plane and go see him and spend any time with him, I'm grateful for that. Uh, I jumped on a plane and went to see him as soon as I could. As all the reports coming in before we got to the royal reaction to it, yes, that's what everyone's saying. He would be happy to help. Happy to temporarily step in. He'd be willing just for a royal role, despite stepping down from his position four years ago. Now, look, some will say they're going to, they're going to, well, he's just being nice, guys. Quit being so mean. What's he supposed to do? His father's sick. His sister-in-law's sick. I mean, yeah, he's offering to step up and help. I mean, one could argue he knows they're not going to let him. Uh, you could try to play that spin, I guess, but I don't buy that for a second. I think he genuinely is so far gone that he thinks that everyone's just ignoring everything he's done up until this point. And I do believe the king wants a relationship with his son and wants his grandkids. He wants to be able to have them there and not talk about work and not talk about the drama and attempt to just be there as a dad. I'm imagining because he's probably very disappointed with all the actions that his son has done, right? So he does want his son back and I'm sure he was glad there's reports that maybe the grandkids might finally visit. Look, I could see all of that happening, but these are olive branches and this is just a father who is clearly under the weather and clearly seeing that the clock can run out, not trying to end on a bitter, angry note. Now, does that mean the king's going to open up the palace for Harry and Meghan? Absolutely not. These two can't be trusted. They made it clear they didn't want to be there. Why would you force these two in? No matter what's going on, there's just no need for it. Look, you learn who you can trust, right? You learn it. When somebody crosses you, you remember it. Now, you may forgive them, but you always remember it. And you always are careful and it's always something that happens and you got to keep that in the back of your mind and hopefully trust is reborn and 
built, but that's only done through actions. And I haven't seen Harry or Meghan do any actions. I'm not going to sit here and pile on these two like everyone else. I don't, I don't like them. I, I clearly don't like these two. I've made that quite clear. Uh, and, but I'm not going to be super mean in the fact that, look, this is a smart move. Of course he's doing this. Of course. It's frustrating. I don't buy it. This is, and thankfully it doesn't look like it's going to happen, but I get, I can't stand all the media that just buys this says, oh, good for Harry. Good for Harry. This is all a PR play. This is only what it is. And look, he, if he didn't do this, it'd be despicable otherwise. Yeah. Sorry. I'm way too busy with all my charity events and movie premieres to offer to help. He has to offer to help. He does. Let's, let's be fair. If he didn't, I'd criticize him for not. You know what I mean? There are certain points where he can't win at all. But in this situation, I think this is absolutely a PR ploy, an attempt to get in the good graces and try to Jedi mind trick everyone saying, I didn't say the royals are racist. I didn't complain or reveal private details about them. No, I'm just here to offer to help. I'm just happy. Uh, thankfully, thankfully, the king, uh, according to sources coming in here, firmly of the opinion that he cannot return as a working royal. It's just not going to happen. The, feeling, uh, his, uh, the Duke of Duchess met with, uh, of Sussex, met with the father's, uh, his father um, and dished on his cancer diagnosis with Good Morning America, where he hinted that the recent health woes could have a reunifying effect. But it seems that feeling is not re re uh, uh, reci reciprocated. There you go. I said it. Certain words. I'm getting old. 5,449 miles away from Montecito, sources close to the monarch say he's firmly of the opinion that Harry can't return as a working royal. He can't. He's not going to get along with his brother. There's still too much of a rift, and there's too many people in the UK that would just be lose their minds. He just can't. It's too divided at this point. Have the king and Harry been speaking? Yes. Does this mean a return to the fold even on a temporary basis? No. I wholeheartedly believe this. Another insider adds, aside from a small number of investors, the king does not plan to offload a great number of duties on other family members while he undergoes treatment. No, he wants to keep Morkin. Um, of other sources note that Harry's half-in, half-out approach simply isn't enough to see him return to the royal fold with wife Meghan Markle. Despite the uh, insider's claim that Charles would be open to fixing his damaged relationship with his younger son, that's what's different here. I do believe that the father is open to fixing the damaged relationship with his son. I'm sure he wants to fix it with Harry and Ma and, and William as well. Uh, does that mean he's going to say, yeah, welcome back. Come on in and do the duties. Hells no. Hells no. That is That ship has sailed. Harry's lost that ability no matter how hard he tries with the Invictus games and everything else. It's just not going to happen. So no matter how hard Harry says he's willing to come back to do those duties, uh, I have a hard time believing if his dad asks for his help that Harry would say no. I think he would try. But at the same time, I don't think it's something that Harry would ask to do on his own. Um, Harry said, I think any illness or sickness brings family together. Look, I love my family. We, we read that quote. Um, asked what's stopping him. Harry said, look, I have no idea. Uh, I'm here doing this. The thought has crossed my mind. But uh, uh, Oh, this was talking about becoming American citizen. Blah, blah, blah. We talked about that as well. Um, but this is this is the real truth. There's, there's no way that King Charles is going to let this happen. Not, I'm, I, I can't see it happening. Now, can I see, am I surprised that, uh, or shocked that Harry's trying to get in there? No. Do I believe he really wants to be in there? No, I also don't believe that. So I'm quite, look, this is like ridiculous. <laughs> this is ridiculous. And I think Pierce Morgan said it best. Oh, F off. Because I don't think anyone really means it. Really, honestly, I'm curious what you think. Do you really think Harry means it? Harry means it in the sake that I think he wants to get back in the good graces and up his status. Yes, of course. He wants to use the royal family for his own gain, 100%. But does he actually want to go do the duties? No, he doesn't want to do any duty. That's why he left. And the king knows this. They all know this. So I, I don't see this happening. I think Pierce is right. F off. But that's not going to stop people. Come on, Pierce. The guy still is his father's son and deserves the right to help his old man without the entire world judging him. Uh, in support of his father, his father, Pierce, not yours. Everyone's, again, trying to spin this into a positive for Harry. So like I said, smart marketing move for Harry, but it's all calculated. It's all manipulative. That's what's happening here. Harry doesn't actually want to do the royal duties. Again, even he's like, I'll do it temporary to help you, dad. That'll make me look good, won't it? And then I'm back in the fold a little bit. Ha ha ha. You, you can't kick me out then. That's what I believe is happening here. 
What do you guys think? Do you agree? Do you think there's any version of this where Harry could actually return to any duties, temporary, full, whatever? I want to hear your thoughts. If you haven't already subscribed here to Palace, what are you waiting for? Hit that bell for alerts, smash that like button, uh, and leave a comment down below. I want to hear your thoughts on this. Does this surprise you? Are you shocked? Uh, are you not? Nothing can shock you with these two anymore. Let us know. We got more coming. You're not going to miss it, so make sure you hit that subscribe. Stay tuned for more. And check out our Planet video. We need your help. Amber's back with her attorney, Elaine. Yikes.